A couple weeks back, we filmed a video all about how to save money and save your food from going in the garbage. And that video did really well. You guys seem to love those tips. So we went back to our research facility and we found 10 more tips. So here they are. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. The way to keep your celery crisp and fresh is to actually wrap it in tin foil. That's right, just give it a new look. Wrap the whole thing in tin foil, stick it in the fridge, and it'll stay nice and crispy. Apparently, this also works for broccoli and lettuce. You know where bread belongs? Not in the fridge. If bread goes into the fridge, it becomes harder and it goes stale faster. Bread actually belongs in a cool, dark place, so you can use one of those bread storage bins that kind of look like bread garages. You can also keep it in a cupboard. You can keep it in your microwave. Check this out. Obviously, don't put it in there while you're using your microwave. And if you don't go through an entire loaf of bread in the amount of time it takes to consume a loaf of bread before it goes bad, consider placing smaller amounts of slices of bread into a zipper bag and then freezing those portions. That way you can just pull out the amount that you need for the meal or two that you're making. Have you ever been at a grocery store and wondered, what is that thing? Well, I will tell you, this thing is actually designed to absorb ethylene gas. So in the last video, we talked about having that little blue apple in your fridge to absorb ethylene gas and get rid of any of those fruit ripening hormones. When you're at a grocery store, if you see a product that's been packaged smartly, for example, berries have holes to breathe and these little squares at the bottom, leave them in their package when you get home. That way you don't have to unpackage and repackage anything and your food will actually last longer in the fridge. Your freezer is like a pause button, so anytime you have something that's really close to its expiration date, so long as it is safe to freeze, Wrap it properly and put it in the freezer. That way you can get a couple more weeks out of that particular food item. Tomato paste really yanks my chain and I'm gonna tell you why. Every time a recipe calls for it, it's like one tablespoon of tomato paste. But then what are you supposed to do with the rest of the can of tomato paste? Here's the thing, there's actually a really easy trick for this. When you're done using your tomato paste, put the remainder into a zipper bag. Seal the zipper bag, remove all of the air. Then take a dull object like a butter knife or your creative, figure something out, and basically put a grid into that bag. So that way when you have a recipe that calls for tomato paste, you can break a little piece off or two or three, pop it in your recipe, and move on. And that way you don't have to waste cans of tomato paste anymore. One of my all-time favorite foods is mushrooms. And you know what's funny? Half of the people I meet, they cannot stand mushrooms. The texture really freaks them out. Do you guys like mushrooms or do you hate them? Let me know in the comments down below. I am pro mushroom. And the interesting part about mushrooms is that despite the fact that you might buy them at the store in a container wrapped in plastic, that is actually the wrong way to store mushrooms. So if you are at a grocery store and they have loose mushrooms in paper bags, that is how you wanna store them. If you buy them in a package, bring them home and put them in a paper bag and then put them in a drawer. Your fridge can't work if it is overstuffed. Similar to your dishwasher, which can't clean your dishes if there's too many dishes in there. Air needs the ability to circulate throughout all of the different food products in the fridge, and if it can't do that, the mayo sitting in the middle of your fridge will not be kept as cold as it needs to be. So when you're planning your week with groceries and meals, make sure that you're planning it so that you're not overstuffing your fridge. And I have to take my own advice right now. Here's an exciting one about cottage cheese. I don't know if you can use the word exciting and cottage cheese in the same sentence, but Either way, if you eat cottage cheese at home and you want a way to keep it lasting for longer in the fridge, all you have to do is store it upside down. And here's why. This area here between the lid and the container allows air to get inside the container. By flipping it upside down, all of the cottage cheese comes right to the bottom, creating a seal that doesn't let air in. Therefore, your cottage cheese lasting until the apocalypse. Enjoy. You know, asparagus is a bit of an enigma when it comes to vegetable mysteries. 
Not only does it make your pee smell crazy, but it's also a little bit challenging to store. If you've ever noticed, you put it in the crisper drawer, take it out, it's a little limp and flavorless. There's an easy way to fix that, although I still haven't figured out the pee solution aside from flushing and rushing. All you need to do for storage is fill a glass about an inch full with water, drop the asparagus bundle in there, elastics and all, cover it with the plastic bag that the asparagus came in and put it in the fridge. If you don't need to use your asparagus before you notice the water at the bottom turning cloudy, no worries, dump it out, start again, put your asparagus back in the fridge. By the way, do you guys love asparagus? I feel like it's this super hyped up vegetable that everyone's so excited about, you know, Top Chef, Iron Chef, Michelin star restaurants. It's like, relax on the asparagus. Cauliflower's way better. Do you guys love asparagus or do you have other vegetables that are your favorites? Let me know in the comments down below. It's true that one bad apple spoils the bunch, both metaphorically and literally. So if you're storing apples, whether it's outside or in the fridge, and you notice that one is rotten and stinky and miserable, it's going to age and make the rest of your apples rotten, stinky, and miserable too. So in life and in fruit, get rid of the bad apple. If you add these 10 tips onto the last 10 tips that I covered, you now have 20 food saving, money saving tips, which means according to my calculations, you're practically a millionaire. If you guys are interested in more videos on this topic, please let me know in the comments down below because we've been doing a lot of research. This is a fascinating subject. So if there's a particular food that you're having a challenge with storing, please let me know that food in the comments and I will look into that for you. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from playing around with fruits and veggies, I'm trying to take more walks and do some more inspirational, motivational stuff, especially on Snapchat. You can find me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am at Melissa Maker, the guy who has about, oh, I don't know, 12 artisanal mayonnaises in the fridge that are gross. He is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And the first one, if you haven't seen it, you need to. It is the first uh, time-saving, food-saving video. It'll probably save you time at some point in your life. So you gotta check that one out. And the second one is all about how to clean your dirty, smelly, stained containers. So check that one out too. I'm holding this pineapple because I get asked a lot of questions about this pineapple. It was a great purchase and we love it. It'll never go bad, which is a huge relief. But where did I get it from is the number one question. So I will tell you the secret is out. I got it at a store called HomeSense. If you are in the States, HomeSense here is owned by the TJX company. So you can look at a TJX brand near you and see if they have one of these. Remember that you can also find us on our website, cleanmyspace.com, where you can sign up for the wonderful monthly informative and free dirty dish. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next week.